Hey everybody, it's me Richard. It's Friday, January 26th. And uh, yeah, I'm coming to you with the camera in a different location. Uh, I'm walking around the house actually. But uh, I wanted to share with you all a painting that I got uh, yesterday. I thought it was one that I had ordered, but it wasn't. It was from a friend. I have no idea who sent it to me. Uh, the person I thought had sent it, I was wrong. So, um, Whoever sent this to me, thank you so much. Um, it is um, a diamond painting of a male nude. So if you're offended by uh, artists' paintings of the human body, um, don't go any further. Um, yeah, it's not graphic. I think it's a beautiful painting. Um, I had stated a couple years ago that I had loved this uh, artist's paintings. And uh, he did, I think, it's a, I think it's a man, but he had done many uh, paintings of families, you know. Uh, he did a beautiful, beautiful painting called um, Father and Son. And it is a painting of a father um, coming out of like the shower. And it's a very, artistic visualization of him cradling his naked newborn baby after just coming out of a shower. And it, it, it was a, it's a beautiful picture. It's called Man and Child. Uh, and I had made a comment about these paintings of these men and women. Uh, and I thought they were beautiful. And somebody sent me one and it just said, uh, here, here it is, enjoy, sorry it's late, happy belated birthday, Richard, and there was no name, it just said enjoy. So I will be showing you that. I'll be showing you the finished uh, Ming tree painting right here. So I'm gonna show you the Ming tree first. So let me turn you guys around. Uh, let me turn you around. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. It's me, Richard, with Real Men Craft 2. Today it's Friday, January 26th, and yes, as you can tell in my voice, I feel so much better. It's um a little after, it's probably a little after 12 noon. Um, I've had a very, very, very busy morning. Uh, I went and saw my chiropractor after waiting for a three month appointment. And um, let me tell you what, uh, I know a lot of people think chiropractors are quacks and cracks, and uh, but I've been seeing one for 40 years. I go probably, I try to go at least once a year, but since uh, I had my hip replaced, um, I just wanted to try to get in like every month, month and a half, but, I did not know how bad my neck and spine were out of joint. And um, you can hear it in my voice, my lungs, uh, everything. Dr. D, his name is Dr. D. I call him Dr. D, but his name is Don Jankowski. And uh, he's a phenomenal chiropractor here in Sacramento. And I'm really, really sad because he told me today that he's leaving in two weeks. He's going to go up to Tuolumne. County and uh, he's he's gonna work uh, he's gonna open a new chiropractic office up there working with the Miwok Indians so I think that's great I think that's phenomenal uh, but yeah I'm really gonna miss him so I did get in a great phenomenal session with him this morning and uh, I can turn my head completely to the right and left there's no cr popping and cracking in my neck and my I just thought it was, um, I don't know, I really thought it was my arthritis and everything else, but uh, 
he gave me a, ma a, a major, major, massive treatment. And um, I told him, I said, Dr. D, I just want a massive neck crack. I said, I know I don't like you to grab and snap and pop. I said, but you have to do whatever you do. And um, I was sitting in my chair and I was sitting in an upright chair like this and I had my feet flat on the ground. And uh, he always gives me a really good massage to loosen me up and get my uh, thoughts off of things. And him and I were talking and of course, uh, <laughs> me getting into my storytelling and love to tell what I've been doing. He was just like, Wow, Richard, he said, uh, you know, I told him about my hip replacement and we talked about the New Year's and stuff, but he said, okay, you ready for your treatment? Well, I was sitting here like this and uh, he did, he did it, he did an, a, a neck adjustment and I heard like 11 pops and my body literally went from like this to <laughs> drop. I was just completely limp in, in, immediately and uh, it literally brought tears to my eyes because the nerves that were re-stimulated and everything he had just, uh, it was incredible. And then he went on to do his treatments, but yeah, I saw him for about a 25 minute treatment and um, that was over two hours ago and I feel phenomenal. I have not coughed but once since I've been home and that was because I had to change the air filters, but uh, yeah, it's Friday. It's beautiful outside. It's stopped raining finally. I'm drinking coffee out of my evil queen mug. A mirror, mirror on the wall. Yeah. So hopefully you guys are having a good week. Uh, color and chat with Joanna. Joanna tried to call me last night. For some weird reason, we had a communication problem. I never got a hold of her. She never got a hold of me. But I want to welcome some new subscribers to the channel. Uh, yeah, so I'm showing my readers. Um, I'm going to pop in a video right here. Butters wants to say hi. So I just took this video of me and him standing over at the other side. So here we go. So, yeah, here's the kitty sitting in front of the window. Butters, you want to say hi? Butters? Butters? Hi, everyone. Yeah, this cat is something else. He's so crazy. So, uh... Let's welcome to the channel in no particular order. Carly3497 Cause, The Crafting Gamer, Karen Moore, Maria Mannion, Cecilia Sugden, Houdini's mom, I love that. Houdini must be her pet. Uh, Connie Leslie, Brody O'Connell, Verna May, Paul Torregino, and Alex Thomas. Oh, and then I have two more on the other page. Paulina Anthony, Sarah, I'm not even gonna try your last name. Oh yeah, I have to try your last name. Rivaliano, if I said it wrong, I'm so, so sorry. But you guys, everybody, welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, always remember, it just helps the uh, algorithms of any YouTube creators to throw us a thumbs up. Uh, you can do that right down there, as well as hitting the subscribe button right there. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys uh, a picture. I'm, I'm going to slide down. I'm going to pop you guys over there to the table in just a minute. We're going to look at the uh, finished Ming tree painting. And then I'm going to show you a, a painting that I got in the mail the other day. Today's Friday. This came uh, Wednesday. And I, I hadn't ordered anything. I, I didn't have any uh, PR packages coming in. I do have another one coming in from uh, New Craft Day, but uh, I, this this package came and I knew it was a, I knew it was a diamond painting. I could feel it, you know what it was. But it, it was really really it was a big diamond painting, and I thought, well, what is this from? I didn't recognize the. Uh, company it just said it had come from Amazon and um, I knew I hadn't ordered anything so uh, I have always been not a fan of but I've always been amazed by the by pictures and drawings paintings sketches anything photographs of the human body in its natural form now there was a there was a um, a, mu a museum display traveling the country a couple years ago. Oh God, it's probably been 
seven or eight years ago called bodies. And they were actual human bodies that had been dried, dehydrated, they were dismembered, you know, they weren't dismembered, but they were sectioned and they were posed in actions of things that the human body does daily. And I was fascinated, I saw it twice. And then I saw it again when we were in Vegas, we saw it in Vegas for a third time and it just amazed me. But I've always been, I just think that the, the human body is a beautiful, 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 uh, magnificent machine. And it, it, it amazes me how our bodies work. Um, we'll never understand why they work like they do and how they work like they do, but we only get one. And um, when I unrolled this canvas, I was blown away because a couple of uh, years ago, I don't even think it was a couple of years ago because it's been, it's been since I started this, this new, this Real Man Craft 2 channel, but uh, I think I was in a live chat on somebody else's channel, but the subject of um, nude portraits and nude uh, art from the 1600s and 1700s come up and um, I had made a comment that I had seen these diamond paintings online of these paintings of both male and female um, nudes, the, the, the adult form and it's, uh, but they were beautiful paintings, beautiful artistic paintings. But there was one that caught my eye and it was the most gorgeous painting of a young father. He was holding his newborn infant um, against his chest and they were both completely nude and there was rain. It was either rain or a shower, but it looked like they were in the shower and it was just, it just, it just said, um, life, a father and a father and son. And I was, I, I just, I was blown away by this painting and, um, I had clicked on the links and, uh, I had seen other paintings and I, I, I made a comment, um, in this live chat, but I had put a couple of the pictures in a wish list on my Amazon channel because I thought, uh, you know, I, I would never order them because I didn't know how the rendering would come out. And um, I got this this diamond painting that I'm going to show you here in a minute. And uh, it just said I, I, I unwrapped it and I unrolled it and I unrolled and unrolled and unrolled. It was very well packaged. And it just said, um, it says, where's the card? says, um, Richard, enjoy this. Sorry it's late. Happy belated birthday. It is a beautiful rendition of the human form. Enjoy. It doesn't have a name, so I have no idea who sent it to me. The person that I thought sent it to me, I had sent them an email, and they said, Richard, you know, I didn't send you the painting, but it is gorgeous. It's beautiful, and I'm going to share it with you here. Um, first off, I want to... Uh, tell everybody that um, is in bad weather right now. It's getting better. It's getting very, 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 a, a lot better. Um, so just hang in there, stay warm, stay uh, healthy, everybody. You just gotta take care of your body. And um, so here's, here's the, I'm gonna click over there and you're gonna see the camera angle. I'll try to edit it and uh, rotate it so it doesn't twist, but I'm gonna show you the main tree first and then I will show you the painting of this. Um, it's just called uh, A Cowboy, that's what it's called. That's just what is on the title of the, the painting. I have no idea where it came from. Um, I don't know who, who made this, there's no company name on it, uh, but enjoy. So um, I'm gonna show you guys this right now and then I'm gonna pop right back here in just a second. You're gonna see a camera rotate. It turned out beautiful. Yeah, I absolutely love it. The sparkle in this painting is really, really, really pretty. The colors of the golds and the yellows and with the teals and the blue, it, was, it, it just turned out beautiful. I love it. So, um, yeah, and then here is the painting of the nude cowboy. That's what it's called. Um, that's the only thing I have as a title. 
Yeah. So I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't think there's anything more beautiful than the human body, whether it be um, male, female, grandma, grandpa, new, a newborn child. I think, um, I think the human body is a, is a beautiful, beautiful uh, piece of art. And we're all lucky to have one. And um, whether we're thin, tall, short, squat, it doesn't matter. You, your body is still a beautiful thing. And uh, we're lucky to have them. And uh, we only get one. So I'm going to show you um, Naked Cowboy. I will cover um, the, the, his, whatever you want to call it. But uh, here it is. It's a beautiful painting. And whoever sent it to me, thank you so much. Uh, it's one of seven in a set, but it is a 50 by 70. It has, um, how many colors? 39. It's a round. And here he is. It is a beautiful painting. The drill field is very, very, very clear. Now, if you notice, the drill field does go sideways. You know, the letters and symbols go sideways. But uh, let's keep it up there. I will cover this. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful painting. It's a very, I, I, I think it's gorgeous. The colors and the browns and the golds and um, he looks like uh, he might have a leather, I don't know what those kind of, it, it's like a cowboy hat. Uh, it looks like he might have a beard or, you know, but um, yeah, I think it's a great, it's a, it's a great painting. It'll uh, be beautiful in a frame and um, I will probably display it somewhere in our house. Okay. Now, if you want to see the whole entire painting, here it is. Yeah, so that is the Ming tree. The Ming tree came out gorgeous. Uh, it was fun to do. It came from uh, uh, New Craft Day. Uh. So here is the painting of the nighttime street scene so far. I've got about nine inches done. I'm starting to work on the bench here. The colors in this painting are stunning. Yeah, the colors in this painting are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is not gonna be a whip and chat today. I just wanted to, uh, let you all know how I've been feeling. So I'm gonna put you on pause, flip the camera around here and let's just chat for a little bit. Yeah, so the Ming Tree was one of the first uh, PR packages that I did get from New Cap Craft Day. I love their canvases, I love their product. That's who made this one that I'm working on that I just showed you, uh, Evening Street Scene or Street Lights. Um, I love it. So. Uh, Hey, you guys just have a great weekend. Um, I feel so good, you guys. I feel so much better. Now I wish Bruce would uh, start to feel better. He, 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 he's not as bad as he was, but uh, the coughing and the phlegm and the constant um, annoyance of this, just, it, it was horrible. Well, you guys heard it in my voice many times, but um, I just wanna say, Plus, I, for, I forgot to uh, put in the video, so you're gonna notice a light change here and you're gonna see the reflection here. But uh, I will have a picture of the gown of the day. Uh, it's beautiful. I don't have a name for it yet because I don't know what I wanna call it. Plus, I wanted to share this picture of, uh, remember when I hit 2,000 subscribers? I had done a giveaway where I gave uh, some stuff away. Well, Cindy Bennett, whose kitty cat pebbles we saw in her uh, finished diamond painting. She got the stained glass Beauty and the Beast uh, painting that I sent her. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pop it up right here. This is a picture of her finished Beauty and the Beast uh, canvas. And it looks like she might have uh, framed it with washi tape and then hung it with a magnetic, uh, one of those magnetic bar clips. Um, it turned out pretty. Thanks for sharing that with us, Cindy. And uh, enjoy the gown of the day. I know you want to see it, so don't leave.
I just want to say thanks to everybody. And as always, uh, be kind to others. Just, just stay bright, stay blingy, stay creative. Um, everybody that I talked to over the weekend and everybody that has wished me well, uh, thoughts of, you know, healing and everything else through the channel. Thank you so much. It meant the world to me. So I'm Richard with Real Men Craft 2. You guys have a great weekend. Stay bright, stay blingy, and stay creative. And hey, I'll talk to everybody soon. Take care. Bye. That's what I forgot again, you guys. I forgot to do this. Yes, I forgot to open this big box from Disney. Sorry, sorry everybody that was waiting. I promise it'll come in the next one. Take care again, you guys, bye.